It's your boy Constant Viz 34 and today I am going to be talking about hip hop and asking where all the legends are at on the touring circuit. But wow, I just saw the NBA Finals game 1 Cavs Warriors man, KD showed up. LeBron showed up too, but man, they got blown out as far as the Cavs. Uh, but I want to ask a question to all the classic hip hop MCs. Why are you not touring frequently and why aren't you doing bigger and better things to push live hip hop shows forward? So in other genres, we see all the legends, including the band behind me, uh, the Almond Brothers band. I always will shout out that poster every other video just because it's such a dope poster and Almond Brothers are awesome. But I've seen many great acts in other genres. Stevie Wonder, wow, that was a great show, man. Stevie killed it. The songs in the Kia Life tour where he did all this, the entire uh, double disc or I think it's like four vinyls, however long it is. He did. He performed all the songs from that. It was amazing. I've seen Billy Joel, the piano man, twice in Madison Square Garden. And both times it was lit. I've seen members of the Grateful Dead. I've seen Chris Cornell, rest in peace, man. To see him back in 2008, he did everything. Temple of the Dog, he did Soundgarden, he did Audio Slave. But these shows from other genres is how I've gotten to respect the artists that I've heard and taken the dust off old CDs of, of yesteryear or the proverbial digital dust off you know, old recordings. I've been able to listen to classic acts and other genres, then go on to a venue and see them live and kill it. But I'm not seeing that with hip hop. And the reason that this needs to change is because performances are how you get respect for legends. So I can think of Rush, saw them in 2015, their final tour. Even at that final tour, I saw them in Boston. Wow, Neil Peart still was killing it. Getty, killing it. Alex on guitar, killing it. It was amazing. Just them. There wasn't 500 backup singers and all this other glitz and glamour. They were just rocking out. Uh, Buddy Guy, wow, Buddy Guy. I saw B.B. King and Buddy Guy. I respected them both. But B.B. King, I, he was already just high in my in my book. Being someone who learned guitar and the blues was the first thing I really learned on guitar. But Buddy Guy, wow, to see his stage presence, see his charisma, it made me gain respect for him. So much more respect. I had heard his music, but to see him live in his 70s at the time, now he's in his 80s, wow. It was a great, I, that's all I can say is wow. I, I'm speechless. But Again, performances is how you get respect for the legends. That's why other genres don't have as much of an issue when it comes to the young guns here respecting the older heads because you can go to your local venue, whether it's a house of blues, whether it's uh, the local arena, whether it's the local ballpark, and you can see many great acts sell out and get thousands upon thousands of people like a Tom Petty who's coming uh, to my city, Hartford, Connecticut, very soon, and just destroy it. And you're like, wow, that was an amazing show. Even though I'm 26, like I am, I'm very young, you know, almost 30. But I, I can appreciate the legends when I see them on stage a lot more than just hearing recordings. Because recordings are modified, they're edited, they're, they don't really show the person as much as seeing them live does. But with hip-hop, we're not seeing that. We are not seeing many great acts who are still alive perform. Now, someone can make the, the note that, hey, well, Biggie passed away, RIP to Biggie. Jam Master J passed away. Uh, Fife Dog passed away. Uh, when it comes to Gangstar, we have Guru who passed away. Many legends have passed away in hip hop, but so have they in other genres. Dwayne Allman, who passed away really early. Jimi Hendrix passed away, uh, John Lennon passed away, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, R.I.P. to Stevie Ray Vaughan, he's a legend as well, he passed away. But even though all these legends in hip hop have passed away, where's LL Cool J, okay? He's criticizing hip hop the other week. Are you doing tours? Are you doing 30, 40 shows a year? Just like other acts uh, 
like uh, Tom Petty is doing, Eric Clapton doing shows while he's going through some issues uh, health-wise, where are the hip-hop legends like LL? Where's Ice Cube? Ice Cube left NWA and was on top of the world, then did his solo stuff and stayed on top of the world as a legend. Where is he? He's doing, are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Part two. Why isn't he on stages? Why isn't he doing a tour with Kendrick? If I was working for either of those, hey, let's do a, a West Coast tour. Let's get Snoop to open up for us, and then we can have Kendrick and Cube do songs together, you know, kind of do a, a, a dual set, and then have Kendrick finish off the show or Cube finish off the show. Where are you? And there's many other artists I could go on and on with hip-hop about from the 80s and 90s that don't really tour. They're not really into hip-hop. Ice-T, where you at? Huh? Why aren't you doing shows like that? This is crucial to the genre, just like it's crucial for legends to perform and continue to have a love of the live performance. Because you look at country, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, they're still torn. They don't, they, they don't need another dime to their name. They could just spin, 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 chill, you know, write for others or produce, things like that. But they're performing for the people because they love the form, form of country that they perform. We need more hip-hop acts from the 80s and 90s to do that. Same thing with, like we see in rock and we see with Stevie Wonder. Look at pop. Prince and Michael Jackson perform until they passed away, unfortunately. Where is that from other artists of the 80s and 90s who were in good health, in good standing, but they refused to perform anymore? And here's the thing. I get it. Modern hip-hop to someone who's in their 40s or 50s may seem very weird and odd and there's a lot to critique and i agree there's a lot to critique with modern hip-hop especially when you take away cole and kendrick and some other acts at the top you take away that top and there's a very uh, lackluster group of young kids who are trying to find their way they have a lot of energy they have a lot of emotions and a lot of things to, to, to put down on the on the music but they need guidance but how they get that guidance is by older hip-hop heads, not necessarily criticizing them, but showing them, giving them competition by continuing the tour. That's why no current rock band out will ever, ever say, man, who's Tom Petty? Man, who's Neil Peart? Who, he drums? What? Man, who's this? Insert legend here. Because they all perform and they all sell out 20, 30,000 uh, a night, no matter where they go. And we need that in hip-hop. Hopefully that changes with J. Cole Kendrick, uh, Big Sean, I mean, maybe some of these art artists like Big Sean, they're not going to be able to do uh, large-scale arena tours per se every year. Maybe they have to do it every couple years, have to combine with another act. But hip-hop needs more artists to continually share the craft on stage because on stage is where you get your respect. Anyone can do things in the studio, hide behind the mic and have it mixed and mastered. But what do you do on a live show? And really, that's the one thing that there's a lot, again, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that they want to criticize the young kids for, but all these old heads, where are you guys? In Hollywood, which is fine. Do your stuff in Hollywood. Have your business like Jay-Z, but guess what? Jay-Z still can sell out an arena like that. He's done stadiums with Beyonce and Eminem, and Eminem, again, just by himself as well, has done stadiums like in his hometown of Detroit, uh, is it Comerica? They change these ballparks every year. I think it's Comerica Park and he did Yankee Stadium with Jay and they did a home and home series. But the point is we need more hip hop acts to continue in the craft, even if you have other business ventures. I think it's great that hip hop acts are getting out, first getting themselves out the hood, helping others in the community get, get educated and then they go on to other business ventures outside of hip hop outside of the, the shenanigans and competition of hip-hop. But at the end of the day, we need legends to tour to show the art form in its purest form as far as hip-hop, which I love, just like I love all the other genres that I listen to, rock, blues, and, and, and R&B. Uh, but we need more people in hip-hop to continue to tour who are older. And we'll see what happens with this current generation. And like I've said, I'll say this to all the old heads who are listening you can say what you want about these new hip-hop acts. You can say what you want about the new fans. But one thing that's great about this current era of hip-hop is the best acts 
the most conscious acts, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and even Big Sean to a, a little bit. Again, that's kind of how, how, what I put up there. And, and even the, you know, ASAP Rocky and a couple other guys, uh, Ab, Soul, uh, the whole TDE, really. Uh, but all these acts that have conscious movements and that really are introspective in their lyrics are the top selling acts. So you can criticize about, oh, Little Yardy and this rapper and he mumbles and he's, and he's dressing weird. But you can say what you want. They're torn. The, most, the conscious acts are selling out arenas with young kids in them. J. Cole, and like I said, Kendrick, um, Big Sean's doing more theaters. Um, and even like the ASAP Rockies are doing more theaters. But the top acts are conscious. So you can criticize the young kids all you want, but you need to tell your heroes, the, the, the peers you grew up with that can rap, to continue to do that, the art form. And I guess I'll finish on this, and this is another example of why legends need to perform. I saw Busta Rhymes in 2008, uh, and he was actually on the same tour with Chris Cornell in Lincoln Park. But Busta Rhymes, because he still was touring, because he was still involved with these younger artists back then, I saw him perform live, and he impressed me because he showed, he performed a song, it was one of his, I can't remember which specific song, he did it really fast. He stopped the music, put it a cappella, and spit it again, a cappella fast. It was like one of those quick riffs that, that Busta does. That changed my perspective, and it gave me hope for hip-hop back then, back in 2008 when Busta was still on his kind of last, you know, leg of performing even though he's very young, and he still does shows, but that was when he was still more active in the charts and things like that. But that gave me hope that more artists would do that. But hopefully, we do see some acts to follow. But I do want to shout out the Nas's, Nas tours, as you see with Lauren Hill. He came to my college, Eastern uh, Connecticut State University, and, and did shows. He's done. He does all sorts of touring and festivals. Snoop is still at it. Uh, obviously, he's change and evolve but snoop is still doing it um and there's many other acts that still do it but we need more classic acts to follow suit like i said cube come out cool ll come on maybe get another run dmc the you know rest in peace jam master j but let's get that that you know that going back up again uh as far as the see them like yeah i love tougher than leather as far as that song and that album uh it's really dope to me see to be able to see the you know run dmc what you know the remaining members of that that would be dope let me know what you guys think definitely comment like and subscribe but i'm calling you out guys the legends y'all need to come back and show the young guns how it's done just like every other genre take care